Hello, hello. Happy Sunday, everyone. This is Matthew Morales with Quiet Mind Yoga, and I'm here to bring you your yoga, the new Sunday fun day at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. I am going to continue to set up here on my end. You all do the same. Um, today we are going to be working on some heart opening, so I do encourage you to grab anything you might have around the house that you can rest on that will elevate your heart. That can look like, um, if you have yoga blocks, grab some yoga blocks. If not, maybe a pillow or maybe even two pillows, a blanket, um, a strap, any or anything you have that can elevate your heart, I highly recommend for you to grab that right now because we are gonna be doing heart openers. Alrighty, also get yourself comfortable. You can grab something to drink, get a towel if you need to, um, light some candles, incense, whatever you need. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Viviana. Welcome y'all, happy Sunday. Um, Again, if you missed it, we are doing heart openers today. Also, if you have anything else specific, because we have 90 minutes, so if you have anything specific you want to work on, let me know. Leave a comment, and hopefully I'll see it, and then we'll work on that as well. All right, I'm going to continue to set up, y'all. grabbing a little water for myself. Again, y'all have some time, I know it's already four, but we're gonna go in about two to three minutes. Continue to get yourself situated. Um, if you didn't hear me at the beginning, uh, grab any props that you have that you can maybe, that can support you as we're lying down. So for example, it can look like a yoga blanket. If you don't have a yoga blanket, grab any blanket from your home, maybe a pillow, maybe even a cushion from the sofa, or blocks if you have those as well because we are gonna do heart opening and we're gonna start in a supportive fish pose. But we're gonna be starting in about one to two minutes. Alrighty y'all. Again, if you have anything specific you wanna work on, let me know, leave a comment. I haven't seen any, of the, any comments yet asking for anything specific. I'm happy to incorporate whatever else y'all might need today. And just to give you a little background as to why I chose to do heart opening today, um, I know for myself personally, I started to see recently how hard it is for me to receive uh, love or care or support from others because it makes me feel super vulnerable and like somebody can hurt me if I open myself up that much to let them help me. But it's so important, especially during these times. I mean, we all know how important it is to receive the help that our soul needs. So that's a little bit of why I chose to do heart opening today. Maybe that resonates with you and maybe not. Maybe you need heart opening for another reason or you just need a good stretch. We're gonna start in about one more minute, y'all. Check. Did we get any requests? Resting. Uh, yes, we will be doing that for sure. Alrighty, y'all. I'm going to hop on my mat. You do the same. And let's begin. Alrighty. So to start off, we're going to be relaxing for a good amount of the beginning of class. We're going to be in a supported fish pose. So if you don't have anything to support you right now, 
don't worry about it. That is perfectly fine. You'll just lie flat on the ground. But if you do have something to support you, by all means, please use it. That can look like a pillow. So if you have a pillow, you'll pull, put the pillow running down your back and allow your head to fall off the pillow. Ideally, the heart is a little more elevated than the head here and you're getting some lengthening and opening through the chest. Now, a pillow is going to be a very gentle version of the opening. If you want a little bit more, maybe you have a blanket. It doesn't have to be a yoga blanket. Any blanket you have, you can open it a little here. And then from here, we're going to make ourselves a little burrito and we'll roll it up. And you have a roll here. So from here, you place one end towards your sacrum. And then again, it's going to run down the spine. You're going to rest on the blanket, drop your head towards the ground. So you're not having anything supporting your head using this variation as well. So you're going to feel it a little bit more deeply, the opening in the chest by using a blanket. And the last option we have is if you really want to get some heart opening today and you have blocks. If you have blocks, I'm going to get up to show you this option. You'll place one block running down the spine, so vertically, ideally between the shoulder blades. And if you want, you take a second block and you place it behind your head. So it's like they're making a T. So it'll look like this on the ground. One block is running vertically, the other one is horizontal. It's going to support my head and adjust as needed here. You may not get it the first time you try, so adjust the blocks as you need to. Now, if you're really feeling ambitious today, you might even remove one of the blocks from behind your head and drop it towards the earth. So whatever variation you chose, go ahead and settle into it now. You can lie flat on the ground, use a pillow, a blanket, or a block, depending on what you have. And you can adjust here. There's nothing that says that you need to remain completely still. Go ahead and close your eyes. Allow yourself to start settling in here into your practice. Bringing all your energy here onto your mat. Here into this space that you're in right now. Leaving behind whatever else has been happening in your life. Whatever has happened throughout your week. Throughout this weekend, your Sunday, the moment right before you stepped into your practice whatever's happening, let it go. And in this moment with your eyes closed, the one thing you know to be true is your breath flowing in and out through your nose. And let it be your natural breath right now. There's no need to control it in this moment. So often we try to control a lot that happens in our lives. So for right now, as uncomfortable as, as it may be for some, Release control. Let the earth fully support you. There's no need for you to be doing any work right now. If there's any activation or holding or tension in the body, let it fall. Let it melt into the mat. Any control of your breath, let that drop as well.
become familiar with the temperature of the room that you're in. Feel your clothes resting on your body. Feel the eyelids touching, the backs of your eyes softening, allowing the eyes to sink deeper into their sockets. Release any tension in your eyebrow center. Relax the jaw. Relax the tongue in your mouth. And take a scan for your physical body right now. See how it's feeling in this moment. You don't need to figure anything out, why it's feeling the way it is. You don't need to change it at all. I simply want you to connect and tap in, seeing what's here for you right now. Now all together, let's start to deepen our breath. As you inhale, fill your belly up, let it grow and expand. And as you exhale, empty out, contract, navel in towards your spine. Again, inhale, the belly fills up, breathe between the ribs. Exhale, empty out, navel to spine. And let's take some clearing breaths. So inhale through the nose, fill the belly up. Open the mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Again, one more like that. Inhale, fill up. Open the mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Come back to breathing in and out through the nose, inhaling deep into the belly. And exhaling, empty out. Keep going just like this now on your own for a few more rounds. Deep breaths into the lowest part of your belly. Just like this. Now we're gonna change up the breath and add some breath up into our chest and our heart as well, starting the heart opening or continuing the heart opening. So everyone inhale into the belly, let it expand. Inhale into the chest, let it rise. Exhale from the chest first, and then exhale from the belly, let it fall. Again, inhale into the belly, inhale into your chest, exhale from the chest, then exhale from the belly. It may feel a little exaggerated. Again, inhale into the belly, into your heart, Exhale from the heart, and then from the belly. Again, if this is new or to you, it may not feel so natural, but that's okay. Keep going with it. One more breath, just like this. Here you have the option to keep breathing exactly like you are right now, or you can change it back to breathing solely into the belly, continuing in and out through the nose. And there's not a right or wrong way to do it, so follow whatever feels best for you right now. Keep following the breath. And as you're lying here, I invite you to set an intention for your practice today. Maybe you de do need more heart opening. Maybe it's in the aspect of opening the heart to give, but 
consider it might be opening the hearts to receive. Like I mentioned earlier, sometimes it's more vulnerable to receive than to feel that way at least. Maybe your intention is something completely different. Whatever it may be though, start to repeat it to yourself internally as if it's happening right now for you in this moment. Two more breaths, just like this. Stay connected to your deep breath, whatever that looks like for you right now. And slowly start to bring movement back into your fingers and into your toes, taking your time as you're waking the body back up here. If it feels okay for you as you are, gently rock your head from side to side. If that's too straining on the neck, then don't do it to stay as you are wiggling the fingers and toes. If you have a prop underneath you supporting you, go ahead and make your way onto one side, again nice and easy. Then reach back for the prop, go ahead and remove it out from underneath you, set it to the side of your mat, come back to lie flat on your back, hug your knees into your chest starting to give the spine a little more love by rocking from side to side. Again, no rushing. This isn't a fast movement right now. As much as your mind may want to make it a little more forceful, see if you can be gentle with yourself here. Circle your knees in one direction. right knee hugged into your chest, go ahead and extend your left leg out in front of you. We're simply going to hug that right knee in for a few breaths. Going deep into the belly. Let go of any unnecessary tension here. Relax the shoulders. Soften your face. Now, if you have a block, go ahead and grab your block, place it on the left side of your mat. Because from here, we're all gonna go into a supine twist. With your left hand, you take your right knee over towards the left side. If you have a block, rest your right knee on the block. And if you don't have one, that's perfectly fine. Just simply keep twisting, but don't make it a forceful twist right now. Again, right now, we're being super gentle with our bodies. Allowing gravity to really do the work here, not ourselves. Give me three more big breaths here. strap. 
God instead of reaching for the foot. So whatever variation you would like, go ahead and go into it now. Left leg stays extended out in front of you and keep the left leg on the mat. We have three more big breaths here. Again, if you have a block, go ahead and set it to the right side of your mat about where your knee will fall. If you don't have a block, do not worry about it. With your right hand, take your left knee over towards the right side. Let it rest wherever it may. It can be floating in the air. That's okay. And take your gaze over the left shoulder as your ear as well. Again, allow gravity to do the work. Let go of any holding in the body, any tension. Keep breathing through it. One more. And release the left foot. Hug your knees into your chest now. Then straighten your legs up towards the sky. Lift your chest up off the earth, activating our core just a little bit here. Start to lower your legs down towards the earth. Just a short activation of your core. Drop all the way back down onto your mat. Hug your knees into your chest. Again, start to rock front to back. Rock and roll. Giving the spine a little more love. Taking about four to five rocks. Building momentum. And as you are ready, you can cross your legs and transition into four points. Tabletop position. Hands end up underneath the shoulders. 
knees underneath the hips. From here, we take five rounds of traditional cat-cow. So as you inhale, lower the belly down, start to open the heart forward, look up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, press into your hands, round your spine, and gently tuck your tailbone and chin. Again, inhale, cow, open the heart forward and look up. Flow with your breath here. Exhale, cat, round your spine. Take three more on your own. Left shoulder and left side of your head down onto the earth. 
walk your right hand out in front of you. Now option to stay here, or you can take that left leg out in front, or out to the side, I mean, and stay here with that left leg extended. Again, put weight into that left shoulder. This helps to open up the back of the heart. Three more big breaths here. One more. And slowly release, coming back into your tabletop position, however, is best to you. And once you're here, I want you to tuck your toes under, come back to sit on your heels for just a brief moment. We're sitting on our heels for toes pose, stretching the our feet out. We're gonna interlace our fingers behind us, reach your knuckles towards the back edge of your mat, open your heart up towards the sky. more breaths here. Go a little deeper, last two breaths. One more. And release, making your way back into tabletop position. Untap the toes, give them a little love, tapping the toes out, letting the blood Flow back into the feet. And then as you're ready, press your way up into downward facing dog, bringing the hips up into the air and start to pedal your feet out. So you bend one knee as the opposite leg is straight and then you switch. Start to shake your head yes and shake your head no, letting your neck relax, your shoulders to soften. Just to fire up our core a little more, we're gonna come forward into a high plank. Shoulders stack above the wrist. You're making a straight line with your body. If at any point it gets to be too much for you, drop your knees down onto the earth. Because remember, this practice is all about you. You're honoring your body and what it needs today. And some days your body needs to be pushed and you need to work hard. And then other days it needs a little bit more of a gentle practice. So honor wherever you're at right now. We have another five, four, three, two, one. Release downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg straight up into the air. Keep that right leg straight. The right hip is closed up. Start to circle that right leg in one direction. And no need to rush these. Circle in the opposite direction. Inhale, right leg comes straight up. Exhale, gently place your right foot to the inside of your right hand. Go ahead and drop your back knee, the left knee onto the earth. Reach your heart forward. We're gonna stay here for some breaths. Imagine there's a string attached to your sternum that is gently being pulled forward. You're lengthening through the spine. Big breaths. One more here. Now straighten that right leg out, coming into our half splits. Right leg straightens. Ideally, your hips are stacked on top of that left knee. Flex your right foot, reaching your toes back towards you. And lengthen through your spine, reaching your heart center forward. Again, that string that's attached to your sternum. Big breaths. And don't over engage while we're in these poses right now. Remember, this is a little more gentle today. Unless your body is really asking for that, then yes, go ahead and put a little bit more traction, put a little bit more force and effort. But if it's not, then stay a little more gentle. 
on your next inhale you come back forward into your runner's lunge plant your left hand underneath your left shoulder inhale right arm reaches up towards the sky exhale reach the right arm back behind you we're making circles opening the shoulder here inhale right arm circles forward and then exhale circle it back again inhale forward exhale back give me two more on your own last one and release bringing that right hand back down onto the earth step it back downward facing dog take a moment here to pedal the feet out again bending one knee and then the other and really be aware of how your body's feeling and what it's asking for as you're moving through this don't just go into automatic mode which is easy if you've had this practice for quite some time we're going to stick with the right side so again inhale the right leg up bend the knee and stack your hip this time right hip is stacked on top of the left if this is a little bit too much for you today Maybe you drop that left knee down and the left forearm as well. And you're opening up here. Now start to make circles with that right knee. And then circle in the opposite direction. Now inhale, right leg straight up, close that right hip off. On your exhale, gently plant the right foot to the outside of your right hand this time. And maybe your foot's off the mat, that is perfectly fine. Go ahead and drop that left knee down to the earth, everyone. I know sometimes people want to keep that left knee up for a more of a challenge, but go ahead and drop it down. And just take a few breaths here. If you want a small rocking motion front to back, you can add one. Maybe you walk your hands out in front of you now as far as your body will allow. Going just a little deeper here in this pose. This is as far as we're going to make it today for this pose. Three more breaths here. Again, relax the jaw. Soften your eyebrow center. One more breath. And taking your time, start to walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Again, we're going to keep the left hand grounded on the earth. Reach your right arm up. But instead of making circles this time, I want you to bend the left knee with your right hand. See if you can reach for your foot or your ankle. If you can't grab onto your foot or ankle, that's fine. Just keep reaching back towards it. Now, if you're holding onto the foot, open your heart up towards the ceiling. Press that left hip flexor and quad forward a little more. Big breaths. Utilize that left hand to help you balance here. Keep pushing through the left arm. Navel to spine, keeping your core engaged. We have one more big breath here. And release. Plant that right hand to the inside of the right foot again. Step it back, downward facing dog. We're here, take another moment to pedal the feet out. And we have the other side, come into stillness in your downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg straight up, you're keeping that left leg straight, point through the toes, reaching your toes back behind you, and start to circle that left leg. Navel to spine, hug the ribs in. You're keeping your midline engaged as you're doing all of this. Start to circle the opposite direction. Now inhale, left leg straight up. Exhale, gently land that left foot to the inside of your left hand. Drop the back knee down onto the mat and reach your heart forward in this slow runner's line. We're gonna stay here for some reps. We have three 
three more breaths here. Maybe you want to take this time to close your eyes, really check in again, see how you're doing in this moment. See what's shifted in the body, if anything has come up for you to look at. I'm not saying that stuff has happened for you, so I'm not forcing that on you, but just observe. Now straighten that left leg out, half splits, flex your left foot. Again, ideally your hips are stacked on top of your right knee. Keep lengthening through the spine, reaching your heart forward, getting some more space in the back of that left leg here. Three more big breaths. Last breath here, deep into the belly. On your next inhale, come back forward into your low runner's lunge. Ground your right hand down underneath your right shoulder. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, circle the left arm back behind you. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, circle back. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, back. And inhale, forward. Give me two more, just like this. One more. Then place your left hand on the outside of your left foot. Make your way back, downward facing dog. One last time here to pedal the feet out. Shake your head yes and no. Then we have one more round on the left side again. Inhale your left leg up. This time bend your knee, stack your hip. Again, if you need to, you can modify by dropping that right knee and the right forearm to support you from here. Start to circle that left knee, getting into your hip joints a little more. Keep the core active, drawing the navel in. Circle to the other way, other direction. As you inhale, lift that left leg up, close your hip up. Exhale, gently land that left foot to the outside of your left hand. And I say gently, but if it doesn't land gently, that's okay. Sometimes it's hard to do that. Right knee drops onto the earth. You're here holding. If you want, want to add a gentle rock front to back, feel free to do so. But nothing major here. Stay with the breath, going deep into the belly. Lengthen through the spine, reaching your heart forward. If you want to take it a little further, you can walk your hands out in front of you as far as your body will allow. And it's okay if your hands come off the mat. We have three more breaths here. Left hand to the inside. 
side of your left foot again. If you use a prop, go ahead and remove it. Step your way back, downward facing dog. From here, start to slowly walk your feet forward to meet your hands, taking as much time as you need. And we'll meet at the top of our mats, folded over for ragdolls. So let the head hang heavy. Interlace the back, uh, interlace your fingers on the back of your head. Let it hang. And then maybe find a rock from side to side. Keep grounding your feet down into the mat, pressing through the balls of your feet, your big toes, your heels. And really allow the head to hang heavy. Most important part here, there's nothing to watch out in front of you. Drop the head. down towards the earth. We're still folded over. From here, we bring our hands to our lower back where the sacrum is. Interlace your fingers again. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Now, if you can't touch your fingers here, that's okay. Maybe you have a sock or a pair of pants or a strap that you use and you grab however close you can towards the center here. And you utilize the strap or whatever you're using to keep crawling your hands in towards one another. So maybe eventually you can interlace the fingers. One more big breath here. Keep the fingers interlaced. Everyone start to rise up, pressing your feet down into the earth. Bring a small bend into your knees as you rise all the way up. Keep the bend in your knees as we transition into a small back bend. Pressing your hips forward, draw your navel in towards your spine. Reach your hands back behind you. We're opening our heart here, opening the front channel of the body. And you may be shaking like me as you're here, that's perfectly fine. We have one more breath. I know it's not so comfortable, but we won't be here forever. And release. Straighten all the way out, release your hands. Go ahead and shake them out if you'd like. Bring your hands to your heart center. Let's take a clearing breath here, everyone. Inhale through the nose, fill the belly up. Open the mouth, exhale it out. <sighs> Let's take another one just for fun. Inhale through the nose, fill it up. Open the mouth, exhale it out. <sighs> From here, we're going into a moon salutation, going a little more gentle today. So everyone inhale, arms reach up. Hold your breath as you halfway fold forward. Exhale, release your hands towards the earth. Inhale, separate your feet out towards the edges of your mat. Sink your hips as far down as your body will allow, ideally going into a yogic squat. But if this is not in reach for you today, that's perfectly fine. Maybe you rest your elbows on your thighs and you're here. We're going to marinate here for just a few more breaths. Keep lengthening through the spine, opening the heart up. One last big breath here. Exhale, plant the hands, left leg extends back behind you, drop your knee onto the earth. Inhale, arms reach up, come into a small back bend, opening your heart up towards the sky, shoulders are soft. We're getting a little more active here, but still keep it as gentle as possible. Not over activating, not trying to make yourself go so deep into the pose. Unless you really want to, you can keep pushing yourself towards your maximum or even past it. On your next exhale, drop your hands to the earth, step the right foot back, child's pose. We'll take three breaths here. Focus on breathing into the back body while you're here in this child's pose. One more big breath here. 
On your inhale, slide your way forward onto your belly and into a sphinx pose. Elbows come underneath your shoulders, forearms are on the mats, palms facing down as well. Now you can make this as active as you'd like. You can push into the tops of your feet and ground your pelvis down and then add traction by drawing the elbows back towards the hips. You're gonna feel extra lengthening in your lower spine as you do that, or you can just hang heavy here. Drop the knees down, not really pushing into the feet or the pelvis. Open your heart. Now if you want a little more of a challenge, you can always take it into a seal pose, start to straighten your arms out. You do what feels best for your body in this moment, because remember, this is all about you and what you need right now, not what you needed last week or yesterday but right here and right now. Two more big breaths. If you're in seal, go ahead and drop your forearms back onto the mat. Everyone bring your hands on either side of your chest. Push back into child's pose. We're gonna take one big breath here. As you inhale, come up onto your knees, circle your arms back behind you to open your heart and your throat. Exhale, plant your hands in front of you, right inhale, arms reach up, give me a small back bend. We're gonna continue flowing here. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot meets your right. Hold the breath out as you halfway lift. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Take one big breath here. And we transition to the other side. Again, inhale, arms reach up, core engaged. Retain your breath as you halfway fold forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, yogic squat. And again, we're gonna marinate here for some time. Press your hands together, keep reaching your heart up. Maybe you find a little rock from side to side here. We have two more big breaths. As you exhale, plant your hands to the earth, right leg steps back, drop your knee down to the ground. Inhale, arms reach up. And it doesn't matter if your back toes are tucked or untucked, either way is great. Eyes with the elbows are on either side of your head, heart opening up. You're bending into the front knee, pressing your hips forward, lengthening through the spine though. So your hips should feel grounded here and at the same time you create a length in the spine, opening the heart up. Shoulders are soft. Two more breaths here. On your exhale, plant your hands, take the left foot back, child's pose. Three breaths here. Drop back down into Sphinx pose. Bring your hands on either side of your chest. 
Press your way back, child's pose. One big breath here. As we inhale, come up onto your knees, circle your arms back behind you, heart shines. Exhale, plant your hands, left foot comes forward. Inhale, arms reach up, we're gonna continue to flow. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot meets your left. Hold the breath out as you halfway lift. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take one big breath here. And we're gonna flow through all of that now. Inhale, arms up. Hold your breath as you halfway fold forward. Exhale, release your hands to the earth. Inhale, yogic squat. We're here just for the inhale since we're flowing now. Exhale, left leg back, knee to the ground. Inhale, arms come up, give me a small back bend. Exhale, plant the hands, take a child's pose. Inhale, make your way forward into a cobra. This time to leave your hands where they are, open the heart forward. Exhale, press it back, child's pose. Inhale, up onto your knees, circle the arms behind you. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot comes forward. Inhale, arms up, lengthen through the spine, keep your core active. Exhale, plant your hands, left foot meets your right. Hold the breath as you halfway lift. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Last one. Inhale, arms up. Retain your breath. Halfway fold forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, yogic squat. Again, just for the inhale. Exhale, right leg back. Knee to the earth. Inhale, arms up. Shoulders stay soft here. Exhale, hands to the mat, child's pose. Inhale, slide it forward into your cobra. Exhale, take it back, child's pose. Inhale, up onto your knees, circle the arms behind you. Exhale, left foot steps forward. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, right foot meets your left. Hold the breath out as you halfway lift. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Stay here for some breaths now. Close the eyes. Check in with yourself. See how you're feeling in this moment. See how it might be different from when you first started your practice today. towards the edges of your mat. They don't have to go all the way out. We're gonna sink down into a yogic squat. So taking as much time as you can, start to sink. We're going in slow motion here, keeping the core active by drawing the navel into the spine, keeping the heart open, the shoulders soft. Stay with your breath. in mind some days are easier or harder than other days y'all so if it feels a little different today that is perfectly fine honor whatever it is in this moment we're here in our yogic squat now from here take your right hand place it on the outside edge of your mat the right side the tricep is pressing against your right inner thigh left arm reaches up if you need a little more help here you can always sit on a pillow a blanket make a little stack if you need to just to ease the hips a little. We keep 
reaching that left arm up, open a little more. On your next exhale, bring the left hand to the left side edge of your mat, left tricep pressing against the left inner thigh, inhale, right arm up, we switch. separate about hip width apart no wider then that reach your arms back behind you start to lift the chin off the earth as well as your hands and your legs as much as possible you're reaching and opening the heart forward keep your core engaged point through your toes look up towards the ceiling above but not so much that it's hurting your neck we have two more breaths here see if you can open up a little more lift a little higher Last one, and release, drop back down onto the mat, bring one cheek onto the earth, stay with me wherever your mind is taking you right now, stay here, really give your body what it needs, that deep breath the time to release whatever thoughts might be going through the mind. So that way you get to relax even more. And also to release whatever you're holding onto in your body right now. All right, we have another round of a locust pose. Bring your chin onto the earth. You're pointing your toes back. Reach your arms back as well if they're not already. And start to lift the chin, arms and legs up. Palms are facing towards one another. Keep breathing big into the belly. Shoulder blades are sliding down the back as much as possible. Two more big breaths. Lift a little higher. Last one. And release. Drop the other cheek down onto the mat. We rest here. Maybe you need to rock your hips from side to side a little. Now we're going to continue to lie on our belly, but I want to add a prop here if you have one. If you don't have one, again, do not worry about it. You're still going to get benefits out of this. But if you have a blanket nearby or even a pillow, but if you have your blanket, preferably, you're going to roll it up like we had it at the beginning of class. If you used it, one big roll. And from here, you're gonna rest your belly on it, about where your navel lies. So underneath the rib points, that's where you're gonna place the blanket. This is gonna give you a good detox in your belly and in your solar plexus. Now from here, we're gonna add an opening for the back of our heart. So I want you to take one arm, your left arm reach it towards the right. Take your right arm, reach it towards the left, so the arms are crossing here. This is gonna to start to create some space for the back. Then from here, drop your chin in front of your arms, and we're gonna rest here. If it's a little bit too intense with a prop underneath your belly, because it's feeling sensitive today, then remove the prop. It's still gonna be perfect, just like this. Now stay connected to the breath, feel into your body and see what's happening for you as we're here.
making your time. Start to unwind the arms. If you're on your prop, stay on your prop because we have that other side now. So you're gonna take, you're gonna switch the arms basically. Bring the arm that was on the bottom, bring it on the top. And switch, again, resting your chin in front of the arms here. Let all your weight down, let gravity pull the weight down. Taking as much time as you need, start to unwind, make your way flat. 
onto the mat, rest your chin on the earth, arms back behind you. We're gonna take a few breaths here. However you need to, start to press your way up to take a seat onto your mat. So push your way up, sit down onto the mat, straighten your legs out in front of you. Ground your sit bones down into the earth, flex your feet so your toes are reaching back towards you. Inhale, lengthen through your torso, reaching your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Maybe your hands reach towards your shins, the ankles, or your feet. And if you can't touch your toes while you're here, you can always utilize a strap again and gently pull yourself forward, creating a flat back by reaching forward through your heart center. And again, pay attention to your body here. I know our minds a lot of the time would like us to go to our maximum and to our edge all the time. Keep pushing and keep growing. But what does your body want right now? Does it want you to go about 70%? Or does it want you to go a little further? We have three more breaths here. something to sit on like a pillow or a blanket by all means go ahead and grab that now sitting on something malleable just helps to release some of the stress from the lower back and from your hip flexors as well now coming to a cross-legged seated position if that feels okay for you if not maybe you keep your legs straight maybe you sit on a, a chair or the sofa or the bed whatever's near you but just sit down comfortably then from here, we're going to go into Bastrika, which typically is a breath that is meant to build heat in the body and to move a lot of energy, which that's what we're doing it for. But I don't necessarily want you to focus on building heat right now. I simply want you to move the energy. So you're going to have a forceful inhale and a forceful exhale all through your nose, but focus right now on the energy moving. So all that heart opening that we did today and the releasing that we did, I want you to use the breath to move that energy and clear it out, whatever needs to clear today. All right, so the breath is gonna look like this. You're gonna sit up nice and tall, and your hands can be on your legs, or you can even have one hand on your belly. Now, every time you inhale, your belly's gonna expand, and you're gonna inhale forcefully like this. Exhale forcefully, your belly contracts. Now, you can keep it at a pace like that, which is a, a little slower of a pace than we typically go to. If you need to go even slower than that, by all means, go slower. Now, I know we're not so used to breathing into the belly, but if you can, pick the pace a little bit more, maybe even something like this. All right, so get yourself situated. You're in your seated position, lengthen through the spine, ground the sit bones down, ground them into the earth. Create that length through the spine. Hands can be on your legs or maybe one hand on your belly. Go ahead and transition to close your eyes now. And you still have your natural breath. We're gonna do this breath work for three minutes. So that being said, if it gets to be a little too exhausting for your core, take a break by inhaling deeply and then exhaling deeply, and then jump back into your forceful inhale and exhale. All right, Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Three minutes, 
Starting now. Everyone inhale, fill the belly up. Exhale, empty out. And begin forceful inhales and exhales. Remember, forceful inhales and forceful exhales. We're doing this breath to move the energy, not necessarily to challenge ourselves so much to build heat, but to move the energy. Keep going. You're halfway through. See if you can pick up the pace just a little bit more. And any discomfort that's rising up in the body, keep breathing through it. Keep pushing through it. You got this. You're two minutes in, you have one minute left. You have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, fill the belly up and hold the breath. Alexa, turn timer off. Hold the breath. Take in a little more. Exhale through your teeth. Again, inhale through your nose, fill the belly up and hold. Hold it. Take it a little more. Up into the chest. Exhale through the teeth, clear it out. Last one, inhale, deepest breath. Hold again. Take a little more up into the chest. Up into the shoulders. Hold it. Hold it. And exhale through the teeth. Release. back to breathing in and out through your nose and no forceful breath go ahead and let that go come back to just the natural rhythm and let yourself simply sit here for a moment following your inhale and exhale as you're ready, start to make your way to lie on your back for Shavasana, our final resting pose. 
If you need a little more than Shavasana right now, you need to take one final twist from side to side. By all means, feel free to do so. If not, go ahead and flatten out onto your back. Again, there's no control of the breath. If you need any props here, like a pillow or a blanket, by all means, go ahead and grab them. Maybe you want a pillow underneath the knees to ease some of the tension on your lower back, or a pillow underneath the head. Maybe a blanket to cover yourself. If you haven't already, go ahead and make your way into Shavasana. Let the back of your head get heavy. Let your whole body melt into the mat below. Letting go of any tension you're holding on to. Before we slide into our Shavasana fully, I'm going to guide you through a little breathing here. So everyone, exhale and empty out completely. Inhale halfway. Inhale the other half. Exhale halfway. Exhale, empty out. Inhale half. Inhale the other half. Exhale half. Exhale empty out. Again. Inhale half. Inhale fill up. Exhale half. Exhale empty out. Inhale half, inhale the other half, exhale half, exhale all the way, last time, inhale half, inhale the other half, exhale half. Exhale, empty out. Let go of any control of the breath now. And in this moment, there is nothing to be doing. There's nowhere to be, no one to talk to, nothing to work on. Simply allow yourself to rest.
introduce a deeper breath into your body. In your own time, start to bring small movements back into your fingers and into your toes. Gently rock your head from side to side. And give yourself a big morning stretch, reaching your arms up and over your head, pointing your toes out in front of you. And in your own time, make your way onto one side into a fetal position on your mat. While you're here in this fetal position, either physically or energetically, give yourself a hug. And either internally or out loud, say to yourself, I love you just as you are, or just as I am. Give yourself love, give your little kid the love it so needs right now and deserves. Thank yourself for showing up on your mat today. Thank your body for everything it was capable of doing. Taking your time, start to press your way up to a seated meditation pose facing your device. We'll meet with our eyes closed and hands at heart center in prayer posture. We'll seal off today's practice with one clearing breath followed by an OM. Everyone inhale deeply. Open your mouth, exhale it out. Inhale for Om. of you. From my heart and home to yours, namaste. Alrighty y'all, that is your yoga practice for this Sunday. Yoga, the new Sunday fun day. Thank you for joining me today. Um, and as always, something to leave you with. Right now, I know for myself personally, I am being asked um, and pushed to be more vulnerable and receive love um, from others. So uh, I wanted to say that so that you can look at that for yourself as well. Allow yourself to be open, allow yourself to receive. I know sometimes that can feel so scary because sometime throughout our life, we had made ourselves open to somebody and they may have betrayed us or we may have felt hurt by them. And so you start to be, call yourself independent you start to be a little closed off and you can do things on your own, but it's also so nice and it's also human nature to want to connect with others and to have them give you love and to receive love from them. So as much as you can, open yourself up to that, especially right now um, during these times that's a little chaotic. We absolutely need that and give yourself love, which you have done already today by doing this yoga practice. So thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. From my heart to yours, I love you all so much. Take care, enjoy the rest of your beautiful Sunday, and I will see you later on during the week. Alrighty.
Bye, y'all.